Jake Fonder with the Dial Cycling Lab. I'm Lance Hepler with the Dial Cycling Lab, and you can trust me. Do you know why you can trust me? Why is that, Lance? Because I have a mustache. I you're, just... you're automatically more trustworthy if you have a mustache. That's what nobody on earth tells me, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, today we're here to talk about four different techniques, quick techniques for washing your bike. We're gonna run through all of them in yep. just a moment here. We're gonna take you outside and we're gonna basically go through the, the drill. Um, what are those four techniques, Lance? Uh, the first one is using a commercial product called Muck Off. Muck Off is a brand that we carry here at the Dial Cycle Lab. Yep. We actually use quite a bit of their stuff for degreasers and cleaning and whatnot when we're inside the lab, but we really haven't taken it and put it through its paces against right. some of these other things that we're gonna try out today. So Muck Off was what, uh, thing one, thing two was? Thing two was like Kirkland dish soap. Kirkland brand dish soap, brought right. to you by Costco. Right from Costco. <laughs> And um, uh, we should also preface too that we're using the Park Tool cleaning brushes. We're using all the Park Tool cleaning brushes. They have like four different cleaning brushes. I think we use three of them. Yep, yeah, we're gonna use all of those today. Uh, thing three was the uh, car soap. So like, yep, like car wash soap. Car wash soap that yep. you can get at any store. And in conjunction with that, we used some- w WD-40 for the drivetrain. Perfect. Yep. And then thing four was? No soap, no degreaser, just water and brushes and a little bit of elbow. Look at how huge, <laughs> huge. All right, let's go put those things to work. Let's head on outside and wash these things up. So now we're gonna do the muck off treatment on the uh, gravel bikers, the BMC orders. It's a little on the dirty side, it's seen some fun times. Um, what's our protocol gonna be with the muck off? Okay, the directions say you pre-wet the bicycle and then you spray the muck off on it and then you let it sit three to five minutes and then you brush it and then you rinse it. Cool, and we've got the chain. This is the chain degreaser. This, you just put it on the chain and the drive chain and let it degrease and then rinse it off. Perfect, all right, let's do it to it. All right, we got bike number two. What do we got going on this guy? We're gonna use just stuff you'd find in your house, like a car wash concentrator and WD-40 for the drivetrain. All right. It's just going to be soap and water. Soap and water. And brushes. And brushes. And, and um, we're just using some, I believe this is Kirkland brand dish soap. So we're going to put it in the water here, give some bubbles in. Let's do it to it. We got bike number four now. And this was just going to be straight water. Yes, well, yep. From the hose and some brushes that were not used prior, so they are completely. Uh, oh, the brushes are dusty. <laughs> rinse those off first, <laughs> but they are free of all the other uh, solvents that we use. So, cool. Okay. All right. All right, we're all done. We're back and we're gonna go through each one of these things I now. feel like you tricked me, Jake. I just cleaned all your bikes for you. You like how that works? That's not fair. Anyway. <laughs> That's why I love you, Lance. <laughs> all right, so um, the first thing is uh, muck off. So that was the first application that we used on the very first bike. And yep. that was on the BMC Oars uh, gravel bike that was easily the dirtiest of all of them. This guy right behind this us. This guy right here. Full disclaimer on that bike, it had tire sealant. 
all over it. Yeah, you've gotten a flat and it's sprayed sealant all over down in here and all over up in here. And there's actually still sealant on it. It yeah, also- It's on the down tube, it's everywhere. It so. also had dried mud on it everywhere. It was Correct. by far the filthiest bike. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it did a fairly good job. It just, um, it. we try to do it quickly because that's the whole point of this video is for quick wash techniques. Yep. and. It did okay. It did all right. Uh, the one thing that I did like was the way that the degreaser cleaned the drivetrain. Yep. So that, the drivetrain on this one is exceptionally clean. I think it, it did a fantastic job. It turned out actually really pretty good. Look at I can touch that and I'm yeah, not it's greasy. Good. Cool. All right, so bike number two was yep, cleaner. Car, car wash soap yep. and WD-40. Gotcha. Oh, How did that one do? brushes. That was on the mountain bike. Um, it turned out pretty good. Okay. It, it was pretty dirty. It had a lot of... Um, it had a lot of Arizona and Nevada desert dust on gotcha. it. Gotcha. So, so that, not mud, yep. but all this desert dust on it. And um, it, it turned out pretty good. Application number three was the Costco dish soap with no degreaser at Correct. all. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, the point of using those two things were they might be something you just find in the house, not yep. going to buy something yep. special. Seems like everybody's got some of that uh, auto wash soap laying around. You've had that for how long? I don't know, but it looked like jello coming out of the drive <laughs> in my garage for 10 years. How did yeah. the drivetrain? Not not so good. No no degreaser at all. Yep. And so it, it it although there wasn't much muck in the drivetrain. And then the last application was just straight water, water and, and elbow grease. Yep. And that one turned out that turned out pretty good, although that bike really wasn't that dirty to begin with. Okay. So we went through everything. We kind of came up with a clear winner for the quick wash. And that one was going to be the car wash soap. The car wash soap with the WD-40? Yep, the car wash soap with the WD-40. That worked out pretty well. Yep. Now again, to give Muck off a, a little bit of uh, credit here, it did have to go up against the dirtiest bike. Correct. It didn't have tire sealant all over it. So thing number two was... the it, Yeah, the Muck off was thing number two. It came in second. It came in second and it had the cleanest drivetrain because the, the degreaser, degreaser worked the best out of all the other options. Correct. Coming in third place was? It's a toss up. It's kind of a coin toss between the two. So it's the dish soap, Kirkland dish soap. I think that that did a little bit better of a job. Yep. It got a little bit more of that grime and the grease off of there than just the straight water. The water is going to do fine for just getting off a, a layer of stuff. If you if you hit it right after you get back from your ride and hit the water and maybe like a yep. sponge or something like that, that's probably going to be your best bet. If you let it kind of sit on there for a bit of time and kind of dry up, you're going to want to use one of those other applications. It takes longer. Yeah. And again, these were five minute washes, all yep. five minute washes, not the normal like 30 minute, I'm gonna scrub this thing down and take the wheels off and maybe remove the chain and soak it. It's none of that stuff. It's Correct. just, I'm gonna clean this thing because I got stuff to the do. Real Housewives of New Jersey to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched that show. She's lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, summing this up, keep your bikes looking clean. Yep. Keep them healthy. A clean bike is a fast bike. A clean bike is a fast bike. If you are interested in any of the products that we used, we'll link those down in comments, or you can go to Costco and pick yourself up some <laughs> dish soap. soap. So if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You um, smash that like that's button. Right, you smash that like button. If you have any questions or comments, uh, hit us up in comments and we'll uh, get back to each and every one. Unless they're negative comments, I don't want to hear them. Those can be directed towards Jake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we appreciate you watching. Thanks, bye for now.